Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will start making our keyword density checker application in Streamlit. So first of all let's create a simple python file so right here um, something like uh, den uh, den situ density underscore chvcker checker dot py okay and then hit enter so first of all we need to import our streamlet so import stream lits as st okay and then first of all let's create a heading but uh, i will copy a line okay let's copy these two lines copy them and paste them right here okay and let's change this text from youtube keyword extractor to like a den uh, sorry den sity density c h e c k your density checker okay and this application will basically allow us to check the density of a specific word in line or paragraph okay so it's very very important when it comes to uh, seo because uh, whenever you need to write a description for your youtube channel or uh, for anything okay so if you want to work on fiverr or on freelancer or on upwork then it is very important to keep perfect amount of uh, your targeted keyword in your paragraph so do, you can do this process with the help of uh, these density checkers okay so there are a bunch of density checkers out there okay you can use them or you can create your own density checker using python and with the help of this uh, density checker you can write a very seo friendly description for your digital assets okay so let's uh, start working on it and this is my heading density checker this will create a simple line okay and now first of all let's create here an st dot uh, uh, text area widget okay so i will get uh, input from the user okay and here i will say uh, p a r a g r a p h paragraph okay so this will be my label okay and i will save my data inside this uh, txt text variable okay and then first of all uh, it is obvious that uh, uh, in our paragraph we will have some special characters we will have question marks we will have exclamation marks uh, periods and everything else so we need to remove these special characters so there are a bunch of uh, methods with the help of which you can remove these special signs but i will go with a simple one and that is to use the substitution function of a regex module okay so just import here imp or to import re so re is a built-in module of python you do not need to install it okay so just import re and here i will say sim simp underscore txt this means simple text okay so simp text is equals to uh, re dot sub sub okay so this sub method or this substitution method will basically allow us to substitute our different uh, uh, signs and characters in a text okay so here we you just need to pass your pattern okay so let's put these double quotes and now we will pass collection of special characters okay so in order to pass collection of special character as your pattern you need to put these square brackets okay so now inside these square brackets you need to define all of your special characters okay so first of all we will remove period okay then we will search for question mark and uh, we will remove these exclamation mark okay so, and we will remove these end signs and then so these uh, star okay and then maybe this semicolon this colon okay so these are all my special characters and i will replace them with the empty spaces okay and uh, in which text in this uh, text okay so now let's understand this part okay so i will replace all of these data with empty spaces or with no spaces actually in this text okay and i will store my result inside this simple text okay now if i print this simple text okay so right here simp sim text okay you will see that we will have a simple text okay so new terminal let's write here stream lit streamlet run den sit density underscore ch e c k e r checker dot p y hit enter and yeah this is our density checker so need to we need to pass your paragraph so let's write your paragraph like h e dot hello i am a p r o g r a w email programmer and my name is umr okay so now we need to uh, hold control and hit enter okay 
and now let's see the terminal and yeah this is our output okay hello i am programmer and as you can see uh, it has not removed this uh, comma and the reason is that we have not defined here this uh, uh, comma okay so let's write here this okay now let's save it again and uh, let's copy this this text okay copy it and now let's rerun this application uh, paste paste here hold control hit enter open the terminal and yeah now we are getting a very simple text okay and now here we need to modify this text a little bit more and that is we need to convert each and every character to the lower case okay so let's convert it and the conversion is very simple uh, we just need to write here dot l, l sorry l or w e r lower okay and now this lower function will convert my whole text into lower cases okay so let's save it again and uh, let's uh, rerun this application let's paste the paragraph hit enter okay open the terminal and yeah now we have everything in lowercase okay so this is how you can actually clean your text okay so this was the first step and that is to clean your text okay now uh, let's talk about the second step and that is we need to actually split all of the data into words based on these empty spaces okay so the process is again very simple uh sorry in front of this lower i just need to put dot and then i just need to write split split okay and i will split my data based on this uh, empty white space okay and i will save my result inside this words worlds variable okay and now let's print this words variable and you will see that uh, we will get a list of words okay so let's save it again and uh, let's rerun it let's paste it Control hit okay let's open terminal and yeah now we got this output but here one thing that you have noticed is that we are also getting an other empty list before this and the reason is that uh, here before actually we uh, process all of these three lines uh, first of all we will check that if my text is not empty this means that if user has entered data then we need to process everything okay so just tab it okay let's save it again and uh, let's uh, re reload this thing paste the paragraph hold control hit enter open the terminal now we are getting our required output so let's talk about uh, the logic of keyword density checker and uh, first of all i will actually create here an empty dictionary okay and uh, i will check that uh, if uh, we have this particular keyword in our dictionary then we need to increment the value of that particular keyword and if my that particular keyword is not in the dictionary then we need to create one okay and my keywords will be these words in case of dictionary okay so let's write here the logic for it and uh, let's remove these words for now and uh, let's create here an empty dictionary and i will say words words underscore dict is equals to dict okay this will be my empty dictionary and uh, i will say fr4 word word in words words okay and i will check that if my word word in words words dictionary okay so if it exist already in the dictionary this means that we need to increment its value okay so uh, i will just write words words dictionary then i need to pass the word which is the key okay and i will say is equals to dict not dictionary words words dictionary then word word okay and then i will say plus one okay so i need to increment its value and if my this word does not exist in my dictionary this means that it is uh, appearing uh, first time in the paragraph or in the line then we need to create key and its value in the dictionary okay so just write here words words dictionary then we need to pass here the word which is the key actually and then i will say is equals to one so one will be the default value okay and now let's save it and now uh outside this for loop let's print our dictionary okay now in the output you will get a dictionary having uh, side by side keys and values okay so word dictionary okay let's save it okay 
and uh, let's uh, reload this thing paste your paragraph here okay hold control hit enter okay and now let's open terminal and yeah this is our dictionary and now we are getting the word and its occurrences okay so hello has occurred only one time in our line i has occurred only one time m has occurred only one time a is occurred only one time programming is occurred only one time okay and this is how you can actually play with the keyword density so now let's uh, change it this line okay so i will say uh, he double hello i So now let's hold control hit enter and let's see output in the terminal and yeah now hello is one time i is two time and m is one time a is one time developer is one time and is one time and the programs is two time and everything else is good okay so this is how uh, this uh, keyword density logic will work and i think that it's enough for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will actually make some changes and we will display our result uh, and we will calculate the percentage of each word and we will display our result on the streamlit web app so i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye